Hello there, and welcome back to Adicraft. Today, I'm going to be continuing my fantasy build series with this brilliant little windmill. I say little, it's actually quite big. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to build this, and there is a full world download, which I'll be telling you about later. So firstly, let's go over to the materials. These are the materials you'll need for the build. So pause the video now. This excludes all of the interior. The total area needed for the whole build is 26 by 25. Now you don't need to mark this out as the majority of that is overhang from the blades and the fin at the back. However, uh, the main section will take up a 13 by 13 space. So it might be worth marking that out so you know exactly where the main part is going to be. So the first thing that we're going to do is build the bottom section. And what we're going to do is find the front wherever you want the door to be. And we're going to mark that with having an oak plank. So this is an oak plank floor, but you can use whatever flooring you want. And what we're going to do is at the front, we're going to come up six blocks like so on both sides. Five and six. And then in the top three, we're going to put some cobble in here. Now this is going to be the doorway and underneath that we're going to place some spruce stairs. On each of these side windows, and I'll just show you on one, um, we're going to put a layer on the bottom and then we're going to go up another five so it's level on both sides like this. And then we're going to put in the top two and then an upside down stair like this. And that's going to be the window. So we'll do that on all of the sides. Next to each of these, we're going to take some strip spruce and we're going to build this up to the same level like this on both of these two sides. Uh, and again, just do this on all of the bits either sides of the walls. In the middle section, we're going to take some stripped acacia and bring that up to the same level. And what we're going to do here is we're going to only place one, oh, sorry, that should be the spruce, one spruce on the bottom. And how we're going to deal with that next is put some stairs next to that. Some stairs in the front here, like so. And then on top, and uh, you might need to place a temporary block so you've got the blocks facing in the right direction here. Um, place a block out. We're going to have a block down. We're basically going to mirror that pattern that we've got here at the top of the, uh, the build as well. So take those out. We don't need those and then we've got this pattern so what you've got is this acacia bit that will be sticking out on each of the sides here now once we've built these up on the two sides as well then again we're going to do this on all of the different sides we're going to come across with a line of the spruce at the top and on the underside of these spruce planks we're going to place some corner stairs in in place like this and next, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the spruce trapdoors and we're going to place a set of spruce trapdoors right the way around the front here. We're going to place a set of them right the way around each of the sides like this on both the sides. So again, just showing you on the, on the front, but you do this on each and every one of the sides. And then for these side bits, we're going to take some of the warped trap doors and we're going to place these either side. So what you've got is a nice pop of colour on the edge uh, and this is the pattern it, it will be. So we'll fill that all in. The one last thing that we're going to do at this stage is bring the inside up with some of the warped planks. With all of those sections of wall in place, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come inside the build to these walls and we're going to mix in some block variation. So we're just going to randomly select on all of these sides just some places that we want to play, put some andesite uh, just so it's not all cobblestone and that can be anywhere. Uh, I won't do it all the way around, um, not, not for you anyway. Um, but yeah, just go through all of these walls and make sure that that's mixed up with some cobble. Once we've done that, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this inside section. So where we've got these warped planks, these warped planks are going to go up another five blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four and five. And we'll do that on all of the warped planks that we've got here. Now, directly in front of the warped planks, we have some spruce logs again. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to bring those up to the same level. So we're going to bring those up to five and I'll just do it on this side to show you what we're going to do in between. So once that's brought up to five and this is brought up to five as well, 
we're going to stick some of the uh, of the stairs against that on the front and some stairs against that on the sides as well. So that then gives you this nice looking uh, area that we've got here. We're going to connect that up to cover up the cobble with some more spruce and we're going to connect it up at the top as well with some spruce. So we've got this nice three by three gap. In that three by three gap, we are going to place in all of the corners some stairs and that makes it a little round window and this is going to be exactly the same all the sides that we've got here now in this bit in between what we're going to do is we're going to take some andesite walls and we're going to run those up to the same level as the top of this roof here and once that's done on the inside here what we are going to do is we are going to take our oak planks and the same level that we have here we are going to uh, at this level of the wood rather we're going to start filling in the floor and that is just going to be some oak planks that are going to come right the way right the way across on all of the bits on the way round so we'll fill in fill in that floor last step for this is we're going to fill this window in like so so we've got a little three by three window and then we're also going to cover up the section that we have on top of that so we've got an extra line of the concrete once that's in place uh, we are just then going to mix it up so you can choose some white wool you can choose some quartz i'll just be using some white wool in this and then just mix that up again with some variation uh, of the blocks just like so all the way around so yeah there's it's going to look like this from the outside from the inside you're going to have a floor that goes all the way around and in between and with some visible warped wood on the insides as well now the one other thing that we are going to do on this level is very similar to what we had uh, beneath we're actually going to take this top one off because it's more important that we have one here so we're going to replace that that one there and we're going to add some trapdoors all the way around there is an awful lot of spruce in this build so make sure that you have got yourself a, a spruce forest that you can take down because these trapdoors are not cheap if you're building this in survival but it does look great once it's done so on that you will have and i'll just fill in this side when you're looking at it from the front you've got this little round window with the spruce planks you've got the andesite walls and the warped wood poking out and then you'll have a floor on the inside so we'll fill that in and then i'll come back to you all of those windows are in place and we're going to carry on upwards and we're going to do this by carrying on with this warped wood and we're going to come up six again so that's one two three four five and six and this gives us the height that we're going to take the next level up to and yeah we'll do that on all of these ones uh, what we're then also going to do is take the walls up to the same level exactly as we did before and in between here uh, what we're then going to do is well first of all we're going to place some spruce logs coming up on the outside just like so and then on the inside we're going to take our cobble uh, and we're going to fill in two high and then we're going to come up three on both sides because this is going to be a window and then we're going to fill in the top level across the window once we've done that with the cobble we'll just again mix in some andesite so it's nice and varied uh, like this uh, or however you want to design it really uh, you could have it like that anything really anything you like uh, and once you've done that we are going to get some of the andesite stairs and place those andesite stairs in along the bottom here just like so so that connects up to the the wood and gives us this this nice view now once we've filled that in all the way around on the outside we are going to use some of the spruce stairs and we're going to place upside down spruce stairs on all of these sections 
because this is going to support the next level. So where we've come, it, it come and it's gone inwards, just at the bottom here, we're then going to kick the whole thing out again and it's going to have a bit of an overhang uh, for this section. So the bit that we're going to finish off with is a trapdoor here and trapdoors just around this pillar, just underneath these stairs like this all the way around and again I'll just show you the once but you can you can repeat exactly the same pattern all the way all the way around and the last thing we're going to do once you've done all of that on the outside at least is put in the the lintel for the window itself and then on the inside see if we can get through the window there we go great flying uh, at this level we're going to place another layer of floor so this is then going to be a nice big square of the oak that comes across here and fills in all of this floor uh, and yeah so we'll get all of that bit done and then on to the, uh, the what is kind of coming close to the top of the windmill with those all done what we're going to do now is going to put a floor in and this floor is a little bit different it's going to be the oak slabs rather than the oak planks uh, so we're going to be placing a bottom slab in all the way around the edge of this on the inside like so which does mean that this entire floor is going to be uh, mob proof uh, and yeah there, there's a reason for that that i'll run through later uh, but fill that in next step is you do need to know where the front and the back are because there are windows on the two sides but there aren't any windows on the front and the back because the beam that holds the blades comes across there so we'll come to one of the sides here and i'll show you what the window side looks like and we're going to come up six of the acacia blocks on top of these andesite walls like this inside that like we did all the way through we're going to use the warped uh, the warped planks just to cover that from the inside of the build uh, like this and then on the outside here what we're going to do is we're going to take our spruce planks spruce wood rather strip spruce wood and bring that right the way up the build to the top and this you will probably have noticed by now is almost identical to what we did on the ground floor and yeah this is kind of a a mirror image pretty much of what we had on that ground floor that we're going to be doing up here so um yeah just filling that in the one difference being that on this what we're going to do is for both of these we're going to fill these all the way across with the spruce and then on top of this trapdoor on these two stairs we're going to be using white concrete rather than the cobble that we had on the floor now for the sides the two sides we're going to be building a window right the way around and it's going to be a window like this so you've got a three gap in the middle with concrete all the way around and we'll put a lintel in place like this so that gives you the window design on the front and the back you just don't put the window in it's just a plain white wall uh, and we'll deal with the the beam in a second once you've put that window in place again like we had on the uh, the top and the bottom I'll just do this corner so it's easier to explain uh, what we're going to do is level with this little we're going to place we're going to need some temporary blocks uh, coming down so what we're going to do is have some temporary blocks like this in place uh, so that we can get that going the right way and took that out when I didn't need to uh, another temporary block here so we've got the spruce on the top and the bottom just like that and then what we're going to do is place the stairs like we did before to get that same nice pattern with the warped trapdoors so there we go and that's a lovely color combination the acacia and the warped trapdoors with the spruce it goes really really nicely together so once we've done that all the way around the final touches that we're going to be putting are by this window we're going to add some of the stairs with then some trapdoors on this section some trapdoors on the underside section here as well going right the way round uh, the edge of these stripped wood ones and so this trapdoor and this trapdoor will be on the same level the top warp trapdoor 
will be on the same level as the, the spruce trapdoor that you've got there. So that then gives you the detail and the things for this. Uh, at this point, the roof will start get building up. So we'll build up the A-frame next. Once we've filled in all of this, all of these other sides. Now the next step is gonna be building up the apexes of the roof. So what we're gonna do first of all is put a floor in for this and we're gonna be using the uh, oak slabs again and just fill in this entire floor. Now it's worth noting that um, at any point you can, I've not put any holes in, but you can knock holes through in the corner against this warped wood and just run some ladders up and down the whole build or even some water streams if you like. So yeah, fill in all of the floor and what we're gonna do is start stepping the roof up. So we'll start by getting the warped planks and putting the warped planks here. And I'm gonna be showing you the front and the back of the build. So don't do this at the sides because obviously um, the apex of the roof is just gonna come from the back to the front on this build. So what we're then gonna do is put our acacia log in here for consistency and then one of the strip spruce logs. Then on the inside of that, we're actually going up two. So we're gonna go up two here and then the stripped spruce logs just in front of that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a donut uh, with our white concrete. So that goes up three on this edge. And then we will add an extra block here in the middle. So as you can see, it's coming up to a nice point here uh, that we've got. Then we're also just gonna use some of the, uh, some of this nice wool to just create ourselves a bit of block variation in there. Now what we're gonna do as well on this stage is on these blocks, we're gonna place some upside down spruce stairs. We're gonna place a trap door here. Then shift clicking on top of that, we're gonna place a spruce log like so. And then we are going to place the, uh, the trap door up against that. So we'll do this, fill in the, the floor and do this for both sides. Uh, and then I'll show you how to do the roof. So the floors are in, the two peaks are in. Uh, next, we're gonna deal with where the roof goes. But before we do that, we're just gonna add the finishing touches of detail to these two sides. So as I mentioned, it's gonna be these circular little windows that we're building in here. Uh, and then we're gonna have just some trapdoors on the inside. Now we can't put any trapdoors here and here because that's where the roof is gonna, gonna be going, but we'll get around to that now. So first thing that we're gonna do is we do need to take this trapdoor away and we're gonna be doing the spruce edging that's gonna go right the way across the build. And we're gonna start level with the top of this block and run the spruce planks, not planks, the spruce slabs rather, out so it's one block past this edge here. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna step up. So we're gonna come in and step up by half a slab. We're gonna come in again, step up by half a slab. And then we're gonna come in one final time and step in by half a slab. Now at this level, we are gonna connect this up just by putting another half slab up in there so it does connect. And this is the level that we're gonna start working on the stairs. So we're gonna bring a stair that's gonna come up here. And the reason that we can't put anything here is we've got an upside down stair that's going on this side. Another stair here another upside down stair that will match up with this to take it right the way into the edge. And then what we need to do is we're going to get a full block that's gonna be, here it is, a spruce plank that goes on this side. Then we have a stair going up to the apex, a stair underneath like this. And then we'll just do the same on the other side. So we'll step down very quickly. I'll just show you as we do this. Uh, a full block here and then a stair and as you can see we mirror that on this side all the way round so that will bring us up to this point here and then we'll deal with all of the warped bits that go in the middle. So we now have the skeleton of the roof in place and we're gonna start placing the middle bits. Now we do have a saddle roof on this, which means that it bows in the middle. So we're gonna build this up over a couple of stages. And the first things that we're gonna do are we're gonna take the middle block and we're gonna place a warped, uh, a warped trap door in there. We're then gonna place warped slabs all the way around it. And then we're gonna place a line of the warped planks just in behind it. Level with this back block, we're gonna carry on the warped uh, the warped planks right the way across on both sides and that makes it much easier for us to place the warped slabs just on the front here. 
So that gives us the full first two layers. What we're going to do for this next layer is we're going to place three stairs on either side, like so. And coming inside the build, what we're going to do is we're going to place some upside down stairs going across on the inside. That means that we've got a little alcove, so if you wanted to put some chests in there, you could open those chests. The final thing for this step is we're just going to put some slabs in there for this particular part. With both sides brought up to that level, what we're going to do next is we're going to take some stairs and we're going to go, oh, stairs, not slabs, stair, stair, and then coming around the corner, we're going to turn this stair inwards. We're going to do the same on this side, stair, stair, turn it inwards. Inside the build, then, we're going to come across with a line of upside down stairs again just to give a bit more of a bit more headroom so this little floor there isn't masses of headroom but again this makes it manageable so you don't feel like you're too too squished uh, so we've got that done next we're going to take some of the warped blocks and we're going to go one two and then three here so it's going to come out level with this stair on both sides now in this little gap we're going to take some of the stairs Put a stair facing in each side which allows us to put three in the middle so you get this little curvy bit coming through next what we're going to do is on this block on both sides just outside the stair we're going to place a slab then we are going to place a stair going this way and a stair going this way and those will connect up and as you can see that starts to give that smooth curve so again on this side stair and stair in the middle we're going to start connecting this up as well so we're going to take some spruce and we're going to bring it level with this first of all so bring it out level with this and once we have got level with that block we're going to start stepping this down as well so this is going to be a stair coming down so basically what we're going to create is a half block line that follows this roof so we've got a stair here um, we're going to connect these up with three slabs in the middle. On top of this, again, we want to continue this half, uh, this half uh, block gap that goes all the way around up until this point. So we're going to do that and then we're going to add a little peak on the roof by adding a stair on here. And then we've got a full block. And then on top of that, we're simply going to have one slab there and one slab sticking out. So we've got this nice little overhang. To show you on this other side again, we're going to get level with this first stair that's turning the corner. We're going to put a slab, then we're going to have a stair, a block, and then on top of that block, we're going to have two slabs, one on top and one sticking out. And so that gives us our full peak of the roof. So just finish that on the other side. With that roof completed, the next is a tip if you are building this in survival. And that is that this roof has currently got quite a lot of spawnable spaces on there. So what we need to do is we need to cover those up. Um, and I am gonna be using the uh, spruce and the warped pressure plates just because I like the low profile look. If you're flying around the build, um, it's much less easy to spot. You can, of course, use buttons. They are the cheaper option and do exactly the same job. Or if you wish, you can use carpets. But personally, like I say, the, using the pressure plates for me gives the nicest look. So we're going to place the pressure plates here. We're also going to have to pr place a pressure plate not uh, on the two sides here. And then we run a line of them through on the side for the warped ones. And we've also got these spaces here. And that is the last of the spawnable spaces. Now, on top of the build, we again have a couple of little spawning spots. Uh, one that is here, uh, not there, sorry. One that is there and one that is there. Didn't even check myself. So those two I would tend to use uh, just to kind of add to the curve some of the trap doors but everything else as you can see when you try and place it is a half slab or it is a uh yeah it is a half slab or it is a stair so you don't need to worry about that so that should then stop anything from spawning on this roof with the roof now complete and spawn proof we're going to be dealing with the beam that goes from uh the uh from the windmill blades right the way through the build 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to select this block, the middle block. So two blocks down and two blocks up and one block in from each of the sides. And we're going to place nine of the spruce, uh, the strip spruce logs on there. Now on these ones that are closest to the wall, we're going to surround this on all sides with some spruce trapdoors as a little connection to the build. We're going to come out two blocks and then we're going to run a line of the trapdoors. Uh, and these are the birch trapdoors this time. So we've got three birch trapdoors on each side. And this is going to be the fin. So the, the aim was that the fin would catch the wind uh, so that you could line it up and you could actually turn this top part, this entire top section of the windmill into the wind to make sure that you were always getting the power to, to get your grain sorted really. So yeah, coming through to the end of this build, we're then going to finish that off with just a spruce trapdoor. Now we're going to start building up the top and the bottom of this fin that goes on the back and they are a mirror image based on being either on top of or underneath this beam. So I'll just show you the top side uh, and you just replicate this, but upside down on the bottom. So you've got a plank here, a plank, a slab here with a stair and then a plank. Then what we've got is a slab on top of that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three acacia fences and run them through like this. We're gonna come up with another acacia fence we're going to come out with an acacia fence and then we're going to come up one final time with an acacia fence. So you've got three, then it goes up and you've got two and then finally you've got one. And that again gives you something that you can then build on top of. Um, what we're going to do then is we're going to put a full block here. We're going to put a full block next to that. But on top of that full block, we're going to place a stair going this way. Then we've got one more full block there. We've got a full block on this end one. And then we've got a stair just connecting that up. Now what we're going to do on the end here as well is we're going to put another spruce, uh, another spruce trapdoor, couldn't think of the name for a second there, uh, right the way through. So yeah, that's how it's going to go and it will connect up. And like I say, you'll just flip that on the bottom. So we've got a right way up stair, you'd put a, a wrong way up stair, so to speak, on the, the underside. Now again, in terms of spawn proofing this, uh, let's go and this time we will get some buttons uh, might as well do that as we go and get some birch buttons here just because they're quite low profile so obviously that and that are a spawning spot so you put a button on there and it stops that and we've got some full blocks here so we're going to have a, uh, a full block there that's got the um, the button on and then a full block here that's got the button on obviously when you build it on the underside the mobs aren't going to spawn upside down on the full block so you don't need to worry about the bottom bottom buttons but yeah that gives us the top of the fin I'll build the bottom of the fin and then start on the front of the windmill so this is what the finished fin looks like on the back and what we're going to do now is we're going to build the blades on the front so we're going to find that same block and what we're actually going to do this time is we're going to bring this right the way through the build just to keep the idea that this is actually a turning rod coming through we're just going to bring this right the way through like so and then we're going to do that and fill in the gap and what we're going to do on this side is we're going to bring this out five so it's one two three four and five on every other block we are going to place some trapdoors and these are going to be the spruce trapdoors so there's going to be trapdoors going all the way around this uh, uh, top and bottom on both the sides right the way to the end and that just adds a bit of structure it shows these are kind of a bit like washers if you will for the bits that might be moving on the end of this we're just going to place blump an acacia button and here is where we're going to start building each of the blades now these blades rotate so i'll show you what we're going to do all the way around for them and these blades also have a curve so they're not straight you could build them straight if you wanted but i find that windmills uh, in minecraft with kind of straight up and down sort of cardinal direction type blades they look a bit look a bit odd and a bit unrealistic so what we're going to do here is we're going to start with some birch and we're going to come out three birch on each and every direction i'm not going to show you all four of these blades i'm just going to de demonstrate how you would do this to start with 
uh, and then show you one of the four blades and then you can obviously replicate that on the other three now once you've built those three out the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our acacia fences and we're going to place two acacia fences on this side so starting at the top it's going to be on the right hand side of this block then coming down here it's going to be on the bottom then on this side it's going to be on the left on this side it's going to be on the top so as you can see here all of those look like they are on the same side so once you've started that off going you just continue to build and make sure that you're putting the fences on the right side of the build what we're then going to do is we're going to place two more of the birch blocks up like this and we'll do that again coming out the side like so and i won't show you on the other side but just to demonstrate in each of the cases and as you can see we're starting to get that rotation coming through in the actual uh, windmill blades themselves now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a another fence and we're going to build up three fences so we've got two fences here we've got three fences here uh, just again this one would be three fences going out this way so yeah once you've started building just make sure you're always putting the fences on the same side of each of the blades we're then going to come up two more of the birch and this time we are going to have four fences so we're gonna we can start the top or the bottom three four fences now at this bit here we're going to go rather than two blocks we're just going to have a single birch block going here and we're going to have three fences going next to this so one two three and actually four so when i said three i meant four and on top of this we're going to place another birch block this is the one now that's three so we've got one two three just do it in a different order to confuse you all uh, no comments about that please <laughs> i'm only joking uh, then we've got a third of these diagonally up blocks that we're going to go and again this is going to be three as well so we've got one two three of the fences here now at this stage we have something a bit different that's going to happen so we are going to put one block on top of this but this time we're going to start coming out with a second block and then finish this off with some stairs that are just pointing into that and for these fences we're going to go block 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 or fence 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 rather so that's going to bring that out and that gives us the shape of each of these blades now for the other ones obviously the shapes will curve down and then it'll curve that way and it'll curve up on this side but if you follow that same pattern making sure that you put the fences and count the number of fences and then the number of blocks on either each side that'll give you exactly what you're looking for what we're also going to do is we're going to add some trap doors um, but it's probably easiest that I finish off building up these fences uh, these these blades first and then I'll show you where these trap doors are going to go we've now got all of the blades in place so as you can see it curves round on each of those four sides and you've got a lovely look to the windmill it looks very much in motion and it kind of carries on the fantasy aesthetic that we're going for now as I mentioned before we are going to start using some of the uh, the trapdoors and these are going to mirror the way that these blades work so what we're going to do for this first one is we're going to place all of these trapdoors on and that one's the wrong way up there we go we're going to place all of these trapdoors on one particular side so we're going to place three against the birch here two here uh, two more here uh, and then we've got one all the way through these now what this does as well is it means that any of these spaces aren't spawnable because there's partly taken up by a trapdoor so there's no it's not a full block so mobs can't spawn so what we're going to do is take that right the way to this point and then we're going to add one further trapdoor on this stage now what it does mean is there is one spawning spot here and this only works this only matters on the top it's the only spawning spot that there is so we're going to just place a button in there in that space so as you can see that curves right the way up nicely around what we're also going to do at this stage is add in some warped buttons and these are going to go on pretty much every other block so we're going to place one here underneath this trap door that's on top we're going to skip this block place one here skip that block place one here skip a block place skip a block place and this one then goes in the middle 
and that just adds that extra pop of color, that extra pop of detail. So just to show how that would transfer around here, obviously we have these trapdoors on the opposite sides to the acacia fences. So for this bit, we're gonna be putting these trapdoors on the top. For this one, we're gonna be placing them on this side. And for this one, you guessed it, we'd place them on the bottom. So again, with that rotation, make sure that you are placing these on the right side. And this goes here. And as you can see, it stops spawns on all of these blocks as well. You get to this point here, and then you've got one more trapdoor on the end. I am gonna place another button here just for consistency's sake, just so it looks exactly the same on each of them. Then we would place the buttons again every other block, right the way through the build. Uh, like so. So that gives you all of those windmill uh, parts. Now, whilst we've got these buttons in hand, these warp buttons in hand, what we're also going to do is add some of these buttons to the rest of the build. So wherever you've got a cross beam that links up like this on the build, so you've got one here and one here on this side. You haven't got any on the sides at this stage that you can place at because this is already taken up by a block. But when you come down the build, you have got some more. So things like this and this you can add some of these buttons and these are a little bit like timber ties so they add a bit of color to the the build uh, but they also just act as kind of a bit of a functional thing to say okay if somebody had nailed some big pieces of wood in to hold these bits together that's kind of where they'd have done it so go around and place all of these buttons through on these different spots now you can uh, and i will place some as well just under here just because it kind of breaks up this big long line of spruce so again add those in on those different sides in the exterior the other thing that we are going to do at this stage is we're going to choose what color glass that we want i'm just going to pick some cyan glass and we're going to fill that in in the windows we're also going to get some signs where are the signs here we go some acacia signs so what we're going to do with the windows is we're just going to Fill these in with the cyan glass and again all of the windows are going to be filled in with that cyan glass like so up and down the build and then on the exterior where we've got these bits just beneath the windows and there's only one line of these we're going to use a trick that i've used on some of the other builds here and just put this line of the acacia signs in and it really really does break up that white area within the build and yeah that is kind of the finishing touch for the exterior now so finish off these windmill blades add in these ties make sure that you add in all of the windows and don't miss any out uh, and then we're very very nearly done the final decoration stages on the outside are to add some lighting just to give it a bit of uh, a bit of life and a bit more ambience. So what we're going to do is on this overhang on both the front and the back, we're just going to place a fence and then we're going to hang a lantern from that. So it gives some nice lighting up at this stage. Then underneath each of the corners of this roof, we're going to in the corner block on the warped wood. We're going to place a, uh, a lantern hanging down like so. So we'd also have one of these on like this. Now at the front of the build, and you can do this all the way around the build if you wish, uh, we're going to take these two buttons off just so we can put a trapdoor on each of these, uh, which will in turn allow us to hang a lantern down just by the doorway like this. Um, or if you prefer the look of it, you can actually have it. So in a similar way to that, you can have a fence with a lantern underneath. And actually, I think I prefer that personally. Uh, it also gives a bit more lighting because it's a bit lower down. Now, the other thing to do around here is we're going to add some fences in just around the base to kind of tie it all together where we've got these sections that look a bit plain. And then the very, very last thing that we can do, we want to do, and again, you could put those all the way around rather than just at the front if you wished, uh, is to add ourselves a door. So we're going to come inside, place that door, and it's going to be a warp door, and there we go. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the inside and give you a full run through of that. I'm not going to be showing you the block by block um, and the details inside aren't going to be included in the in the block counts either. Uh, but yeah, it will then hopefully if you look at the video, give you some ideas if you did want to uh, decorate this in a kind of authentic windmill kind of a way. So the build is now complete and as you can see I've done a bit of landscaping around this uh, with some wheat fields because those always look good when you've got a windmill around you and I think it fits into this fantasy area that I'm creating here with the tutorials. Uh, make sure you do go and check those out if you're interested in other fantasy style builds. Um, there's quite a few in the series now including that watchtower, some houses and another portal and also a little mushroom house over there. So yeah make sure you do go and check those out. Anyway, on to the build, and I've done this in uh, as much of an authentic way as I could for a windmill. And what we've got here is this big column that goes right the way through. So this is a, uh, a, a something that would turn off the windmill, and it would take the the wheat and it would grind it down into some flour, like we've got there. And then um, we've just got somewhere for that flour to be collected, and then packaged up into some some boxes and some barrels up here. So again, just put some lighting in there to make sure that it's spawn proof. Up here, what we've got is a little sleeping area for the workers and just somewhere where they can sit really. Uh, nothing too fancy in here. Obviously just a bit of an idea for you. Coming up again, we've still got this same pillar going right the way through the build uh, with the mechanism there. So there's some storage up here, some little bookshelves for them to come up and, and store some of their books. And then as we head up further, this is the real kind of mechanism room for the build. So what we've got here is a whole bunch of grindstones going around the edge. This is to kind of show the bit of the windmill that would turn. So this top section would turn depending on which direction the wind was coming from. Then if I back up a little bit, you can see we've got this giant cog, which then interlocks with this central pillar. And this central pillar then is the thing that turns and grinds the wheat. So yeah, actual windmills have a similar kind of a design going on uh, here in, in their builds. So if we come up here to the final floor, and again, there are some lovely, lovely views out of the windows on each of the levels from this. Uh, we've just got some more wheat um, and some more storage up here. So this is the kind of alcove idea that I mentioned before. Because we've got some stairs above it, then you can just place some storage in here and you don't need to worry about the chests not opening. So just like I say, a simple de decoration idea for you uh, there for the build. Uh, but yeah, check the world download out if you are interested in seeing how this is put together and seeing the whole build in a bit more detail. Uh, but all that's left to be said is I hope you've enjoyed this build. I hope you like the windmill. I hope you do uh, check out some of the other builds in this series because uh, I'm really, really proud of these. These are all based on my solo survival series world builds and things that people have said, oh, I'd like a tutorial for that. So also go and check that out, Adia's Adventure on the series if you're into solo survival. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this. Hit that like button. Uh, share this with your friends and above all make sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you next time on Adcraft. Bye!